temple built by Suleiman alayhi salam is on the same spot where Al-Aqsa Masjid now exists. So Al-Aqsa Masjid will have to go so that Dajjal can rebuild the temple. How will Al-Aqsa Masjid go? And when will it go? I think that's the very last thing that the Jal will want to do because you touch that, you're touching fire. And it's most likely that he will have to use a convenient earthquake. Having destabilized the foundations of the building, that a moderate earthquake will bring it crumbling down. And there are many more ways than one to have a, an earthquake. morning great at Al-Aqsa, as thousands of people had gathered for Ramadan prayers. According to eyewitnesses, Israeli police entered the mosque compound saying they wanted to preempt any violence. I was there when the clashes happened. We were all worshipping inside the mosque and the Israelis are the ones who attacked first. Our people were already prepared to confront them. But Israeli authorities say Palestinian youths struck first, hurling stones at the officers. Dozens of worshippers have been injured by rubber bullets, stun grenades and buttons. Hundreds have been arrested. Turkey has condemned Israel's actions as unacceptable, saying it is concerned by the increase in tensions in recent days. In a statement, the foreign ministry has emphasized the importance of protecting the status of Al-Aqsa Mosque, especially during this sensitive period. It's supposed to be one of the holiest sites in the world, in one of the holiest cities in the world. But this cell phone footage shot inside the Al-Aqsa Mosque in Jerusalem shows a scene that's anything but tranquil. Trapped inside, Palestinian worshippers are tear-gassed by Israeli forces. You can see the stained glass windows of the prayer hall being smashed by the police, who then aim their guns through the openings. Eventually, they enter the hall and begin arresting dozens of people. This scene has been repeated over and over. Israeli police raiding the compound, locking the mosque's doors, attacking with tear gas, rubber bullets, beatings and arrests. In the ancient courtyard, people fight back with stones and fireworks. This is a city under occupation where Israelis have the ultimate power, and they often succeed in clearing the compound to let these Jewish Israelis in. On the surface, this might seem like just a religious rivalry, but there's a lot more to this story. It's about control, not just of the holy sites, but of the land and the people who live on it. So we're going to look at who these people are, what their goals are, and how a 1994 massacre of Palestinians at another holy site by an Israeli-American settler might shed light on where Jerusalem is headed today. Since Israel recaptured the old city of Jerusalem from Jordan in 1967, the Jewish state has maintained a fragile religious balance and the Temple Mount is indeed the most divisive real estate in the world. Jewish activists for decades have been leading efforts to change the status quo as a matter of religious freedom by demanding, if Muslims can pray there, why not Jews? One of the hottest end-time prophecies at the moment is the building of a third temple. This is a big topic in New Testament Bible prophecy. The very real possibility of a third temple is a sign that no other generation has seen. All the implements of temple worship have already been created by industrious and devoted visionaries. Right now we're living in the time period between the second temple that was destroyed in 70 BC and the third temple. Hardly a week goes by without some Temple Mount controversy for fear that the Jews will build their house of worship. The Hebrew prophets all proclaimed that in the last days, the exiles of Israel will return to the promised land and restoration of the temple will be their greatest ambition. Ezekiel chapter 37 predicted the dry bones of the nation of Israel coming to life again in their own land. Just as the prophets foretold, the Jewish people are returning to the Holy Land from the four corners of the earth after 19 centuries of global exile. We're seeing the fulfillment of Isaiah chapter 43 verses 5 to 6. Do not fear, for I am with you. I will bring your offspring from the east, and gather you from the west. I will say to the north, give them up. And to the south, do not hold them back. 
bring my sons from afar and my daughters from the ends of the earth. And while all of this activity called Aliyah in Hebrew is happening, preparations are well underway to build the third temple. The head of the far-right quasi-libertarian Zihut party said that he wants to rebuild the Jewish temple on the Temple Mount in Jerusalem immediately. I don't want to build a third temple in one or two years, I want to build it now, Moshe Figlin said at a Jerusalem Post conference in Tel Aviv, referring to the site that currently houses the Dome of the Rock and the Al-Aqsa Mosque and where both Jewish temples stood in the past. To build the temple I need support, I can't do it alone, he said at the end of his speech.